Hello, efficiency enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of the Essence of Wellness podcast. I'm your host, Eric Wilkins, and today we're diving into an essential topic for anyone looking to enhance their physical fitness and wellness journey. Avoiding the pitfalls, navigating common training mistakes. In this concise episode, we'll cover everything you need to know in less than 20 minutes giving you a quick but comprehensive overview of how to steer clear of the common missteps that can hinder your progress. We'll start by emphasizing the importance of proper form in training. Understanding and maintaining proper form isn't just about effectiveness. It's crucial for preventing injuries and ensuring the longevity of your training endeavors. Next, we'll explore understanding overtraining and how to avoid it. Overtraining can be as detrimental as not training enough, leading to burnout and injury. We'll discuss how to recognize the signs of overtraining and strategies for avoiding it. The role of rest and recovery in training success is up next. Far from being time off, rest and recovery are integral components of a successful training regimen, essential for muscle growth and performance enhancement. We'll also tackle nutrition mistakes to avoid for optimal performance. Proper nutrition fuels your workouts and aids in recovery, but common mistakes can sabotage your efforts. We'll highlight key nutritional strategies to support your training goals. Setting realistic goals and avoiding burnout is crucial for sustained success. We'll discuss how to set achievable targets that motivate you without leading to frustration or burnout. Lastly, we'll demystify common training myths debunked. In the fitness world, myths and misinformation can lead you astray. We'll clear up some common misconceptions to help you focus on what truly works. At Efficient Results Visionary Enterprise, we believe in empowering our listeners with the knowledge to make informed decisions on their path to wellness. So, whether you're a seasoned athlete or just starting out, this episode will equip you with the tools to avoid common training pitfalls and pave the way for a more effective and fulfilling fitness journey. Thank you for tuning into the Essence of Wellness podcast. Let's get started on navigating these training pitfalls together. Avoiding the pitfalls, navigating common training mistakes. Avoid common training mistakes to achieve peak results. Focus on proper form to maximize gains and prevent injuries. Be mindful of overtraining by prioritizing rest, quality workouts, and nutrition. Embrace rest days for muscle repair and growth. Stay hydrated and avoid over-reliance on supplements. Set realistic goals to prevent burnout and diversify workouts for long-term success. By following these principles, you can enhance your training experience and see real improvements in your fitness journey. Importance of proper form in training. To maximize your training results and reduce the risk of injury, maintaining proper form during exercises is essential. Proper form guarantees that you target the right muscles, engage them effectively, and minimize strain on joints. When you perform exercises with incorrect form, you not only decrease the effectiveness of the movement, but also increase the likelihood of injury. For example, during a squat, if your knees cave inwards or your back rounds, you place unnecessary stress on your joints and shift the focus away from your quadriceps and glutes. When executing exercises like deadlifts, shoulder presses, or rows, focusing on proper alignment and technique is vital. For instance, Keeping your back straight and engaging your core during a deadlift helps protect your lower back from injury and ensures that your hamstrings and glutes are the primary movers. Similarly, maintaining a neutral spine and retracting your shoulder blades during rows prevents strain on your shoulders and maximizes the engagement of your back muscles. Understanding overtraining and how to avoid it. Understanding overtraining and how to avoid it requires a keen awareness of your body signals and the ability to adjust your training regimen accordingly. Overtraining happens when you push your body beyond its limits without giving it enough time to rest and recover. This can lead to a decrease in performance, increased fatigue, mood disturbances, and even physical injuries. To prevent overtraining, listen to your body. If you are feeling excessively tired, experiencing persistent muscle soreness, or noticing a decline in performance, These could be signs that you need to dial back your training intensity or volume. It's essential to prioritize quality over quantity in your workouts. Remember, more is not always better. 
Make sure to incorporate rest days into your training schedule to allow your body to repair and rebuild. Proper nutrition and hydration also play a critical role in preventing overtraining. Fuel your body with the nutrients it needs to support your training efforts and stay hydrated to optimize performance and recovery. Additionally, vary your training routine to prevent overuse injuries and mental burnout. Cross-training can help you work different muscle groups while giving others a chance to rest. Finally, don't underestimate the power of sleep. Adequate rest is crucial for your body to recover and perform at its best. By paying attention to these signals and making adjustments as needed, you can avoid the pitfalls of overtraining and set yourself up for long-term training success. The Role of Rest and Recovery in Training Success Listen to your body's signals and prioritize adequate rest and recovery to maximize your training success. Rest and recovery play an important role in achieving ideal performance and avoiding burnout. When you push your body through intense training without allowing it to rest, you increase the risk of injuries, decrease your performance, and hinder your progress. During exercise, your muscles experience micro tears that need time to repair and grow stronger. Rest days are essential to give your muscles the opportunity to recover and adapt to the stress of training. Ignoring the rest your body needs can lead to overtraining, fatigue, and decreased motivation. Quality sleep is another essential component of rest and recovery. Sleep is when your body repairs muscles, consolidates memories, and releases hormones that regulate growth and appetite. Aim for 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep each night to support your training efforts. In addition to rest and sleep, Active recovery strategies like stretching, foam rolling, and light exercise can help improve circulation, reduce muscle soreness, and enhance recovery. These methods can aid in maintaining flexibility, preventing injuries, and promoting overall well-being. Nutrition Mistakes to Avoid for Optimal Performance Prioritize your nutrition choices to optimize your performance and achieve your training goals effectively. Your body needs the right fuel to perform at its best. Avoid the common mistake of neglecting your nutrition, as it plays a vital role in your training success. To enhance your performance, focus on consuming a balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrients. One mistake to avoid is skipping meals, especially breakfast. Breakfast kickstarts your metabolism and provides energy for the day ahead. Make sure to include protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats in your meals to support muscle repair, replenish glycogen stores, and regulate hormone production. Hydration is also key. Drink water regularly throughout the day to stay hydrated and maintain peak performance levels. Another pitfall to steer clear of is relying too heavily on supplements. While supplements can be beneficial in certain situations, they should not replace whole foods in your diet. Aim to get most of your nutrients from real food sources to make sure you are meeting your body's needs adequately. Additionally, Avoid overeating, as consuming more calories than your body requires can hinder your performance and lead to unwanted weight gain. Setting realistic goals and avoiding burnout. To achieve sustainable progress in your training journey, it is essential to establish realistic goals and implement strategies to prevent burnout along the way. Setting realistic goals is vital because it provides you with a clear roadmap and helps you stay motivated. When setting goals, Make sure they are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Smart. This approach guarantees that your objectives are within reach and that you can track your progress effectively. Avoiding burnout is equally important in maintaining a healthy training routine. Burnout can occur when you push yourself too hard without allowing for proper rest and recovery. To prevent burnout, listen to your body and incorporate rest days into your training schedule. Overtraining can lead to decreased performance, fatigue, and even injury, hindering your overall progress. Additionally, diversifying your training routine can help prevent burnout. Mixing up your workouts not only keeps things interesting, but also prevents overuse injuries and mental fatigue. Cross-training, trying new activities, and incorporating fun exercises can help you stay engaged and motivated in your training journey. Common Training Myths Debunked when dispelling common training myths, it is important to rely on evidence-based information to guide your fitness journey effectively. Let's debunk some common misconceptions to make sure you are on the right track. 
One prevalent myth is that strength training makes you bulky. In reality, strength training helps tone and define muscles while increasing metabolism, aiding in weight loss. Another myth is that spot reduction works, meaning you can target fat loss in specific areas. Unfortunately, spot reduction is not supported by science. Instead, focus on overall fat loss through a combination of cardio and strength training. It's also important to address the myth that cardio is the only way to lose weight. While cardio is beneficial for burning calories, combining it with resistance training can lead to better long-term weight management. Don't fall for the belief that you need to work out every day for hours to see results. Rest and recovery are essential for muscle growth and injury prevention. Lastly, the idea that you can out-exercise a bad diet is false. Nutrition plays a significant role in reaching your fitness goals, so focus on a balanced diet to complement your training efforts. By understanding and avoiding these common myths, you can optimize your training routine and achieve your desired results effectively. Here are a few frequently asked questions. What are some strategies for dealing with mental fatigue during training? When facing mental fatigue during training, it's important to listen to your body signals. Rest when needed, stay hydrated, eat nutritious foods, and consider incorporating mindfulness techniques to help recharge your mind and stay focused. How can I prevent injuries while training? To prevent injuries while training, focus on proper warm-ups, cool-downs, and listening to your body signals. Incorporate strength training, flexibility exercises, and vary your routine. Guarantee proper form, stay hydrated, and prioritize rest for maximum recovery. Is it necessary to take supplements for optimal performance? To optimize performance, supplements aren't essential, but can boost results when used wisely. Seek guidance from a professional to determine your specific needs. Remember your body's natural abilities are powerful too. How can I stay motivated when progress seems slow? When progress seems slow, remind yourself why you started. Focus on small victories and celebrate them. Set realistic goals, track your progress, and mix up your routine to keep things interesting. Stay consistent and trust the process. What are some signs that I may be undertraining and not pushing myself enough? If you're undertraining, signs may include lack of progress, feeling like workouts are too easy, or not experiencing physical or mental fatigue. Listen to your body. Push yourself within limits and adjust intensity accordingly. As we conclude, just like a skilled sailor guiding rough waters, you have learned to steer clear of common mistakes that can derail your progress. By focusing on proper form, avoiding overtraining, prioritizing rest and recovery, fueling your body with the right nutrition, and setting realistic goals, you are on the path to success. Keep up the good work and continue to sail towards your fitness goals with confidence. As we wrap up another episode of the Essence of Wellness podcast, I want to thank you, our dedicated efficiency enthusiasts, for joining us today. Remember, wellness is a journey, not a destination, and each step you take is a move towards a healthier, more fulfilled you. Stay consistent, stay motivated, and most importantly, stay efficient in your wellness pursuits. Join us again next time as we continue to explore and uncover the best practices for a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Until then, this is Eric Wilkins signing off. Take care, embrace wellness in all its forms, and keep striving for those efficient results in every aspect of your life. Goodbye for now, and remember, the path to wellness is yours to walk, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Hey, efficiency enthusiasts. If you enjoyed the insights and inspiration from the Efficient Results Visionary Enterprise Essence of Wellness podcast, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. Your support is crucial in helping us continue to provide great content. Let's spread the wellness journey together. Thank you for being a part of our community.